Citroen is all set with the C3. It's going to be the big volumes model, the one we've been talking about. It is the first of the C-cubed models as well. And of course, there's a lot riding on it. The timing is also very interesting. Let's talk about all of that with uh, Vincent Kobe, who of course needs no introduction, the CEO for the brand worldwide. Wonderful to see you. Welcome to India. Pleasure, Siddharth. Long time no see. It's a very great moment for me to be able to come back and uh, meet all of you here. Welcome back, I should say, because yeah, you're, you're no stranger to, to these parts. Um, no, it's great to see you. And I, I think, you know, in the run up to this moment, um, we've had the chance to speak and we've, we've talked about, you know, where this strategy has come from. A lot of that, of course, was pre-Stellantis. Um, so I, I'll get to that. But the first thing, the C3, you know, obviously very important model. Um, your approach to it and, um, you know, how, how much excitement do you find within the company now? You know, um, I, I don't need to tell you, but uh, India is a fascinating market, full of promises, extremely exciting opportunities, and at the same time, one of the most challenging markets uh, we are facing in the car industry. So, as you say, it's been quite long in the making. We've uh, obviously established an engineering capability in the country, sourcing with a lo lot of local suppliers. We've built an industrial setup, which is, I would say, quite innovative and very uh, pragmatic. A powertrain plant with a high export dimension, a car assembly plant in the suburbs of uh, Chennai. And here we come with a new product, the first one of a family of three. So what do we expect? We expect to bring the Citroen values we've been showing to the market through C5 aircraft over the last uh, year and so. And that means innovative posture styling concept of a car, amazing comfort, and a lot of technology to, to bring uh, to the Indian market a uh, very high quality driving experience. C3 will be the same in the B hatch segment. So it will bring very modern, innovative, colorful styling, great posture, front clearance space, a lot of volume inside. At the same time, a very smooth drive. I've experienced it yesterday night, I can tell you it's great. And uh, the, the appropriate high level of technology that the customers demand. I can't wait to drive it as well. But you know, I'm gonna get straight to that question about uh, the value for, that you see for the business in India versus running after volume. This is something mm. that's being discussed a lot. Um, the reason I think that question keeps getting asked repeatedly is because in the European context in the past, there's always been this notion that, look, we have a certain amount of volume, we achieve that volume in India and we call the business a success. Uh, but when you look at the Indian market, that, that's just peanuts compared to what, say, Suzuki is doing. Um, how do you separate yourself from that lens or, or that measure of success? To, to be clear, it's very obvious that the man, minute you enter the, the B-Hatch segment, you're looking for a certain presence because your offer needs to be attractive to the widest possible audience. We also know that the, the flip side of this is uh, the complexity of the Indian market, which is dominated by two major players, and we need to not put volume ahead of yeah. customer value. So we've developed a new C3, which in our view, and I'm convinced you'll experience it quite soon, has tremendous customer value from, as I said, styling, posture, comfort, space, and technology. And we have established a network of dealers, a sales process which is extremely innovative, combining online technology yeah. and physical presence. We've ticked the box in terms of credibility for after sales presence and roadside assistance financing as well and that will give us an opportunity to have a substantial volume presence with the very flexible industrial setup we have that will be a journey over the years to come we'll complement the new c3 with two other models and with this we'll build a sustainable growing business in india we're here for the long term we have very attractive value proposition in the brand the products will walk the talk so Yes, it's not going to be an overnight bang. It's going to be a confident, continuous growth. Internally, you have a target, though, volume target, even internally if you don't want to tell me internally that. Internally, we've set up a plant, All right. okay? The plant will be both for domestic yeah. and for export, and we hopefully expect the plant to be running at the highest possible speed. But again, it starts with consumer value. It starts with creating keen excitement and interest on the consumers, the dealer engagement, and then the plant will follow. I think we should always start with creating cons customer value in India. I was going to ask you about exports later, but let me ask you that now that since you mentioned mm. it. On the C3 specifically, this model that has been designed, developed, keeping in, in India in mind, 
uh, what is the export uh, potential and possibility since you have a C3 in Europe? Yeah, but when we are here, there's two obvious destinations, and we're not the only brands who would consider this. One destination is the right and drive African market, yeah. which we all know has substantial pent up demand and growth potential. The other one is ASEAN, where mm. s several types of exports are possible. So we'll explore both of them. And to be honest, I intend to expand the export destination. So we have some studies in the, the back of our mind to make sure that this amazing country, not only as a market, but also as an industrial base, is given us a lot of opportunities. And this, of course, applies to all three models. Yes. All right. Um, you mentioned, of course, how you know you have the network. It is, let's say, comparatively limited compared to some of the larger brands. Uh, but you have gone and made a lot of investments and, and some key strategic decisions when it comes to online sales and, mm -hmm. and the digital technology you were talking about. Uh, was it relatively easier in the context of a more well-heeled customer for a C5? What's the challenge with the C3? Uh, you know, I, I think we should all be uh, both optimistic but also very agile when we look at the market we have in front of us. And to some extent, that's a keen advantage when you're a newcomer. Um, this uh, traditional sales model of cars, which is large showrooms in a very dense yeah. uh, network, has changed over the last 10 years everywhere around the world. And honestly, all of us being, I could say, maybe mature professionals <laughs> should talk to our children and see that they buy things in a very different way. Um, it will progressively um, get adopted by the car industry. And what we realize is the number of physical visits around the world to a dealership prior to buying a car is reducing. The consideration is created through internet browsing and uh, third party reviews. So anticipating this and trying to be at the forefront of evolution, Citroen has developed what we call a digital sales process, which is you have showrooms where you can touch the products, experience the product, kick the tires, as we say. But at the same time, you have a fully digital customer experience which enables you to do it from your home, from your office, together with peers and get engaged in not only the consideration, but also the purchase, the financing, or the buyback. And it's direct to the consumer. And it's direct some to of the, the consumer, others. and we will have solutions for deliveries as well. Yeah. So I think this is a keen advantage we have because we're building this presence. So we're adapting both the size of a showroom, the location of a showrooms, to this combined you know, uh, brick and mortar on one side, but also digital on the other side. And I think we are basically paving the way for a new customer experience, which will be at your fingertips, 24 seven, extremely uh, flexible and adapted to your needs. All right, I know you're tight on time. So just two quick topics then. The first of course is EV. You've al always main maintained that uh, these platforms that have been developed always take uh, electrification into, into account, complete full electrification as well. Um, and, and now it's sort of been very officially stated last evening by, by Mr. Tavares as well that that is going to be the next focus. How bullish are you on that, understanding all the constraints and all the limitations that India presents with EV? You know, uh, if we go from the, uh, the broader environment to the particular uh, case of Indian and market and the B segment, um, we all know that as a society we need to take care of global warming, we need to engage into an energy transition, we need to reduce the carbon footprint and in technical language decarbonize the auto industry. Um, I think every market will have it o its own solutions and its own pace. Because when we move to electric, it's about how clean is your electricity, yeah. how good is your infrastructure for charging, how ready is your customer base to embrace electrification. Another keen advantage when you're a newcomer is uh, what we said when we unveiled uh, the new C3s, we are future ready. So the vehicles we launch are capable of full electrification. And as was said yesterday, the new C3 will be capable of a full electrification and there will be a 100% electric version. Now, this will go in sync with the market readiness. Yeah. The proportion, we can expect 5, 10%, maybe, hopefully, but we'll be ready and we'll be ready for more. And I think the key point in this is it cannot be only an external diktat to move to electrification. We need to get the excitement of a customer. Driving an electric car is something amazing. Can we do this in the Indian market today? You and I will witness it and act on it in the years to come. 
All right, so last, uh, as promised, last question. Uh, you know, the, the, the modularity of the platform, what it gives you in terms of these three products, all this was understood when Citroen first stepped in and you know, PSA came in with the promise. Now, with Stellantis in the picture, um, I'm not saying you have to rethink that strategy because this is already mm -hmm. underway, but post C cubed, um, what synergies, synergies do you see, especially with product and platform? We, as a, in India. Yeah, as a Stellantis group, let's be clear, we want to focus on a limited number of platforms development. We look at the same when it comes to components, when it comes to battery sizes, electric motors. Why? Because the, the car industry is becoming extremely complex and costly. And we need to make sure that we have the ultimate flexibility between highly branded products, but highly common components. Mm. So. The CQ program is a good exercise in this, in a sense that Citroën will launch a family of three highly differentiated vehicles, having a lot of technical commonalities yeah. to favor localization, to favor performance, and also to ensure cost competitiveness of the vehicle will develop. So that will come to bear in the next three years, and obviously it will give us a platform to continue enhancing those vehicles, potentially add more, and also focus on a key element for India as an industry, which is export. All right, fair enough, thank you. Uh, when do we see you next in India? I don't know, maybe in two weeks, maybe in two months, I don't know. All right, well, I hope it's soon, and uh, I hope to see you then. Thank you. Thank you very much, Siddharth, pleasure.